Israeli officials are now planning on how they are going to respond to this. Over 200 Iranian missiles flew to Israel overnight, a number of them hitting buildings across the country. No word on if anyone was hurt or killed in the attack at this time. Meanwhile, in the Gaza Strip, local health officials there say at least 50 people more than half women and children were killed in an Israeli airstrike. The Israeli military has not commented on the attack. This is now a live look over the Lebanese capital of Beirut this morning, where the Israeli military continues to carry out airstrikes and ground raids against what they claim to be Hezbollah targets. A million people have been forced out of their homes in Lebanon because of these attacks. Israel has ordered another two dozen villages and towns to evacuate. Now, all of this, as you can imagine, has raised fears across the world of an all-out regional war in the Middle East. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that Iran made a big mistake and will pay for it. Iran claims to be responding to the airstrike that killed Hezbollah's leader last Friday. President Biden and Vice President Harris were briefed on what was going on. Biden saying that there are active discussions between the White House and Israeli officials about a response. But based on what we know now, the attack appears to have been defeated and ineffective. And this is testament to Israeli military capability and U.S. military. Make no mistake, the United States is fully, fully, fully supportive of Israel. The Pentagon says the destroyers USS Bulkley and locally based USS Cole fired around a dozen interceptors at the missiles. A number of U.S. officials have condemned the Iranian attack. Several close allies to the U.S., including France, the U.K., and Australia, have also condemned Iran. The United Nations Security Council is expected to have an emergency meeting in response to this.